Hey guys, on with the goodies. Because our turbo is capable of producing almost 60 pounds of boost, um, stock uh, manifolds really wouldn't hold up to that very well. They'd end up what they call blowout, which it just blows the seal between the uh, manifold and the head because it's only silicone. So, the object is, uh, uh, hopefully we'll, we will never push that much boost. But sustained heavy boost is liable to blow them out anyway, over time. So the solution is billet manifolds. Let's take a look at them. Now the difference between these and other models is they make they make them in a uh, kind of a flat plate and then weld a tube on them. These are actually made out of a single piece of aluminum that's milled and cut into shape. So there's no no welds, no seams. Oh, well, that knife is built. Um, if I can get one open here, we'll take a good look. And you'll see what I'm talking, talking about. Wow. One end. And there's the other end. Alright. Nope, there's more tape. I really need to put a new blade in that knife. Wow, that is very, oh, looky there, very nice, wow, I am impressed, that's a rather thick piece of aluminum that has just been milled to perfection, and I love the wavy that's, that's pretty cool, uh, Obviously on a CNC machine, and then anodized to turn out a gorgeous manifold. Almost don't want to put them on, they're so nice. And of course, these have an O-ring. Here, I'll show you these. These have an O-ring. I ordered an extra set so that uh, if we ever do have a problem on the road, we'll have a set of extra O-rings with us. Never know what can happen. But O-ring goes in the groove. Very nice. All right, you can see the, the milling marks. Very good, very quality stuff. It's got a lip for the uh, cack boot to keep it from blowing off. I think it's a little bit bigger diameter too. Interesting. All right, let's put these babies in. They sure do look nice. <coughs> I think. We'll put the camera back where we had it when we put the uh, high-pressure oil pump in. That seems to be a good view of the entire block, the top of the block. So let's set up and do that. Okay, that looks pretty good for the passenger side head. Hopefully I won't kick the tripod too much. I'm sure not going to grind the aluminum to make it fit, but I can grind the hook if it's in the way. Nope, it's 15. I'm going to wrench and pull that.
we are heading into another weekend and uh, hopefully we'll get the I won't get the turbo in because well I can but I'll have to pull it and then recoat the uh, or coat the turbine housing the exhaust side housing because it's a uh, Tony's not due in until Monday. And Monday's a holiday. Tuesday. Got a piece of tape in there. Okay. There's some stick them on there. Well, let's see how it fits. Yeah, to avoid that lower hole there, they don't even use it. Uh, you know, I was kind of worried about that when I ordered them. I said, well, if they don't use it, that's sure a spot for a leaker. But with that thickness of that alone, I don't think so. Yeah, that, uh, that looks pretty good. All right. It is five millimeter. I do have to admit, they uh, do look sharp. That's one. They torque to um, 89 inch pounds. Doesn't take very much. Very nice. Okay, good. That was well. It was a lot easier to get that in without that bracket sticking out. Anyway, hook. We definitely need the hook. That's for sure. All right. Looks pretty good. Let's uh set up and well actually. Let me get the uh, glow, glow plug bracket and we'll put that in because it goes in with a couple studs. So I think either this set or this set come out and the glow plug straddles it. So stand by. Okay, I was incorrect. It's these three. So we'll do one at a time to avoid any O-ring problems. And you use the OEM stud. Let me consult the destructions. Stand by. Okay, I misread that. You use the spacers when you have to use these. Um, the spacer would go down into the manifold, and then this would hold the um, special bracket for the glow plug. Uh, what is it? It's not a relay. It's a glow plug controller for California models. So he included this for the California model. I was wondering what the heck is going on. So these are just going to go down and they'll, they'll self-center in them. Yep. Not much thread on there, though. But we're only going to 89 inch pounds, so we'll see what happens. No, that doesn't even look good. Because it put the relay way out here. Which is not what we want. Yeah, when all else fails, consult the destruction. Alright, and then the, uh, the powder coated relay bracket will go right there. Yeah, that'll work out well. Okay. Let's, uh, we set up the torque wrench and we'll torque them in. 89 inch pounds. Not uh, very much torque.
Right. One lovely in. Hey, okay, while we're here, put the glow plug bracket in. Wow, we're starting to get brackets. That's uh, amazing that we're getting this far. We're actually putting brackets on already. Mm. Impressive. You know, I forgot about this glow plug bracket, and then I was looking at the table the other day with all the the parts that I powder coated. What in the heck is that for? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out because I powder coated a bunch of the body parts because they were rusted body brackets and stuff for like the radiator and crap they were rusted so I just well, sandblasted them and powder coated them and uh they were, they were just all sitting on the table I'm sitting there going I don't know what kind of that's for and I wasn't going to order them then I thought about it and I thought, gosh, oh, you know, there really is a weak link in the design. And that would be a, uh, a blowout. So we went ahead and ordered them. They are not cheap. But I think they're definitely worth it because they're really fine, fine, fine quality. I'm impressed. Alright, let me wrestle with this other O-ring. Let's move the bracket out of the way like we did the last time. So that we don't have it in the way. Just in case you didn't watch some of the other ones, uh, the other videos, this is what we're using to help hold the O-ring in place. It's transmission assembly glue, and it's especially made for O-rings to, to make them slide easier. And actually, it's uh, it's called a high tack assembly glue, so it's meant for holding stuff in place while you assemble it. So that's uh, that's what we're using on the O-rings for these manifolds. Okay, I reset the camera for um, this side so everybody can see. You can see that o-ring is on there I want to do something real quick hang on let's do a little comparison here here's the riffraff unit here's a stock unit there's uh, really no comparison these are I mean they work for stock applications and you know low boost engines but if you're gonna run a lot of boost and this one does have the potential to run some boost. All you need to do is have the silicone blow out, pulling them out with a big load, right? Running some boost on it and have everything give away. Or give away, excuse me, not give away. That would not be good. So we try to avoid that situation here. All right, let's put this one on. I think they do look beautiful and they're really easy to put in now if you had pulled the old ones with all the silicone stuck in you'd be cleaning but other than that it's the same process uh, worked out well it's gonna look nice hope it runs good
I'm sure we'll be okay though. Alrighty. That's it for this one, guys. Um, thanks for stopping by.